Hi guys, this is of course English 102, College Reading and Composition 2 online. And who am I? I am Nua Lamiri Linka, aka Nunu, and I am your English professor. Uh, I want to go over the assignment uh, coming up for weeks 10 and 11 of the semester. We are in week 10, but the assignment I'm going to describe uh, right now also takes place in week 11. Uh, so it's very important. Uh, so let me go ahead and go into our English 102 online class. I'm here in home. And while I'm in home, I want to remind you to focus immediately in this class. You can always click here on this link in number one to learn all about this class, all the FAQ, frequently asked questions you have, anything you want to review about what we're doing in this class. And you can also, of course, go to syllabus and uh, Refresh your memory if you need to. Um, week um, link to is our most important link here. Uh, so you click here on this link to access all weekly lesson plans and modules with links to all assignments and readings. So modules you can also access here in the left menu, below home, and it's our crucial tab in this course. So we are in weeks 10 and 11 and modules. We're starting week 10 and we have a two-week assignment. It is discussion five. And I want to remind you to remember to participate during both weeks, weeks 10 and 11 in modules. So I'm going to go here to this handy uh, link um, in number two, and I'm going to click on modules. I'm going to scroll down to week 10, the week we're about to go into. And it is here. I'm going to make our screen a little bit bigger. So here is discussion five. And it's for week 10, October 29th through November 2nd. And also, of course, discussion 5 is here in week 11, November 5th through the 9th, 2018. So let me click on this discussion to review it with you. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, well, let's first stop and admire our burning rose. Um, this fits in with uh, the theme of our class about pulchritude or physical beauty, great physical beauty, uh, a blessing and a curse, our red rose on fire. The rose is, especially the red rose, is the queen of all the roses, and we have it on fire here. Okay, uh, enough of our metaphor. I wanted to remind you that all of our literary works for this discussion are in pages, and pages is right up here in the left menu, right here, uh, below syllabus. Let me scroll back down to our directions. Teachers' comments. I may comment in all capital letters in your posting or your thread, asking you a question or questions about what you write. If I do, remember to respond to me, please. Okay, so let's move on to our timeline. So I would like you, please, to post answers to the six questions below. And let's look at these six questions. Here they are. John Updike's 1961 short story, a and Scrolling down to look at the next questions. Alice Walker's 1973 short story, Everyday Use. And Joyce Carol Oates' 1966 short story, Where Are You Going? Where Have You Been? And, of course, She Walks in Beauty Like the Night uh, by George Gordon is here. And My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun by William Shakespeare. A beautiful poem. And, of course, uh, Madonna's Woman of the Year Acceptance Speech 2016, brought to our attention by uh, one of your peers, Sylvia Bandimas, um, who has shared this wonderful speech with me. And I'd like you to share your thoughts, feelings, and ideas regarding what Madonna says in her speech, because I think it touches on the theme of our class of pulchritude. And I love this um, Quotation, I've extrapolated something Madonna said in her video uh, of her acceptance speech. There is no real safety except for self-belief. That's very heavy. She's coming across like Socrates here. Okay, so I'm going back up to the directions here. So um, I'm going back up a little more. So our timeline. So I want you to post answers to the six questions below, the ones I just showed you. By 11.59 p.m. on Friday, November 2nd, and post responses to two peers' work by 11.59 on Friday, November 9th. That's the following week. Writing a minimum of 125 words, a half page 
in your response to each peer's posting. And if someone responds to your posting, then talk to that person, okay? Respond, keep track of our discussion. Okay, so the questions uh, that I went over with you already, the, the literary works we're going to discuss and Madonna's video, or the video of Madonna. So I say here, following our quotations, I've extrapolated, I pulled from the week 10 and 11 short stories and poems, which are three short stories and two poems, and of course, the Madonna video. Explain how you think these quotations do or do not relate to each, uh, each story's theme and our overarching class theme of pulchritude. Your responses should total a minimum of 750 words, and this is very important. We have a word count in our class, so 750 words or three pages, okay? So we have John Updike, we have Alice Walker, we have Joyce Carol Oates, we have George Gordon, Lord Byron, we have William Shakespeare, and we have Madonna. All right, so that is our assignment, um, and it's for weeks 10 and 11. I'm going to go ahead and click on modules here. To remind you, as I scroll down, that the week 10 assignment, discussion 5, is also, of course, the week 11 assignment, discussion 5. You know that. And I'm going to go ahead and click back to home. Um, we have our two links that are handy here for you. One to the FAQ, frequently asked questions, anything you want to review about the class, which you could also find in syllabus, and also our weekly lesson plans. We are in weeks 10 and 11, discussion five. Here is our um, beautiful, interesting painting of Girl Before a Mirror, a 1932 painting by Pablo Picasso, which fits in with the theme of our class. Okay, and I have a short history of the painting if you want to click on this link. Of course, and I am Nuala Mary Linka. And uh, this has been our English 102 College Reading and Composition 2 note for weeks 10 and 11 of the semester. I told you already, I'm Nuala Mary Linka. I prefer Nunu if you're comfortable with that. And if you have any questions or concerns, of course, you can always reach me in inbox. All right. So uh, have a fun and safe work, uh, safe week from me. All right. Just getting out of it. And 